Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Psalm 67. I'm going to read the whole, whole thing. Are you ready? Are you braced? Are you prepared? Let's go. Starting with the title of Psalm 67. To the chief musician on stringed instruments, a psalm, a song. God be merciful to us and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. That your way may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. Selah. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Now when I read that, I can see where some people may think, well, you know, okay, this is a messianic promise. God's going to rule the world one day, right? He's going to come back, take care of everything, and do everything. I'm not personally convinced that this is what this psalm is primarily referring to. When I read it, the impression I get is much more on, along the lines of, you know what? Our God is the God of all of heaven and all of earth, and he wants to not just rule over Israel. He wants to rule over the nations and bring his salvation to the nations. Not that the people would just fear him and tremble before him and be Israel's slaves, but that the peoples would praise him and that the peoples would be judged righteously by him. So it's not, I'll say, so it's not just the judgment, it's also the praise that people in other nations and other lands would praise God and see him for the one true God. And this is in the Old Testament when God's focus was on Israel. Even then, the focus wasn't entirely on Israel. Even then, God had a global mindset. Like I said in one of my messages yesterday, he said in the Torah, I, for, um, was it, I think it was Numbers, where he said, right before he sentenced the Israels to for, Isra, Israelites blah, to the 40-year wilderness, he said, as surely as, <clears throat> as surely as I live, my glory will fill the earth as the water fills the sea. So God has had a global approach from the beginning. That is not just a Christian thing or a New Testament thing. It's always been his idea. God doesn't want to limit his people to one group, to one race. He wants everyone, everyone in on his glory, in on his salvation, in on knowing what a good God he is. So, yeah, it just... I knew about that and I'd thought about it before, but it just really hit me when I read this song. I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah, God wants the entire world in on the good things that he has and all the good things he has planned. And then not only will he judge the nations in righteousness, but all the nations will actively praise him. So God's always had the entire world in mind. Dealings may have changed, covenants may have changed, but God's love and God's heart that has not changed. So just someone I want to share with you all that I read today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.